Joshua 23, verses 1 through 11. Now it came to pass, a long time after the Lord had given rest to Israel from all their enemies round about, that Joshua was old, advanced in age. And Joshua called for all Israel, for their elders, for their heads, for their judges, and for their officers, and said to them, I am old, advanced in age. You have seen all that the Lord your God has done to all these nations because of you, for the Lord your God is He who has fought for you. See, I have divided to you by lot these nations that remain to be an inheritance for your tribes from the Jordan with all the nations that I have cut off as far as the great sea westward. And the Lord your God will expel them from before you and drive them out of your sight. So you shall possess their land as the Lord your God promised you. Therefore be very courageous to keep and to do all that is written in the book of the law of Moses, lest you turn aside from it to the right hand or to the left, and lest you go among these nations, these who remain among you. You shall not make mention of the name of their gods, nor cause anyone to swear by them. You shall not serve them, nor bow down to them, but you shall hold fast to the Lord your God, as you have done to this day. For the Lord has driven out from before you great and strong nations, but as for you, no one has been able to stand against you to this day. One man of you shall chase a thousand, for the Lord your God is He who fights for you as He promised you. Therefore, take careful heed to yourselves that you love the Lord your God. Joshua chapter 23, verses 1 through 11. You know, our memory is not as clear as we would like it to be when we remember our life before Christ and compare it to our life with Christ, it should seem that things have changed a bit and or even a lot <laughs> since then. But there are some experiences that we are meant to remember accurately so we can have an eternal witness to what God did in our life. Understanding what God did is critical to our future. When God calls us, we have called the situation and the experience as he begins to work and that will never stop. Things we do as humans will cease to exist, but what we do for God and what God has done, we will do forever. The Bible is God's word and it's God's word for us and it will last forever. Now, many have tried to stamp it out over the years, I understand, to make it like any other experience or memory in their life, but they can't. Why is that? Because God says everyone will hear him one way or another. In fact, he says every knee will bow and every tongue will confess. Confess what? Confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. That's very important. As we begin this, we need to understand that God is speaking through his word to us. Let's get our Bible guide out. If you have your Bible guide, turn to the second page here. March, this is really interesting, by the way. March chapter two. And as we look at March chapter two, consider listening to God. We're gonna focus on Joshua 23, one through 11. And as we do, let me just say that if you don't have your Bible guide, why not? Right for your Bible guide, it's the March Bible guide right here. It's actually beautiful. And uh, I want to encourage you, if you don't have yours, why not? You can write to the addresses at the bottom of the screen, or you can call the phone numbers down there as well. Or you can, this is a really good one, go to www.biblediscoverytv.com. That's biblediscoverytv.com. When you go there, click on make a donation. Make a donation in any amount. We'll take you to the PDF file and, and all of that. Plus, we'll send you a Bible guide. So make sure that you write for yours. But as we study today, let's ask the Lord to speak to our hearts. Father, I pray today, as we do every day, that before we read the scripture in the next few minutes, before we look at what Joshua said and what's going on here, listening to God, before we do any of that, we pray and ask you to clear our minds. 
Help our minds to be ready to focus on you just for the next few minutes so we can hear what you're saying to us. In the name of Jesus Christ, speak to our hearts. And we said together, amen. Now that's very important. Now let's keep in track with Joshua 23, verse one. It says, now it came to pass a long time after the Lord had given rest to Israel from all of their enemies around, that Joshua was old and advanced in age. Well, that happens to us in this life. And Joshua called for all Israel, for their elders and for their heads and for their judges and their officers. And he said to them, I am old, advanced in age. You have seen all that the Lord your God has done to all these nations because of you. For the Lord your God is he, this is interesting, look at this now. The Lord your God is he who has fought for you. He who has fought for you. Now, this is important. Age doesn't matter to God. Each of us are called to fulfill what God commands us. We are commanded no matter what age we are. Young, old, doesn't matter. Middle age, doesn't matter. Our lives are to identify the work of the Lord. Our lives are to identify what he has done in them. And it's very important for you and I to think that through and understand that, you know, we, in this life, in our media and everything else, we, we worship the young. I've talked about this on the last program as well. And I need us to figure this out, that God, that age doesn't matter to God because he sees our spirit. And our spirit is, of course, eternal. First John 5, 11, 12, 13. But we must get with God and get to the assignment that God has given us. Very important. So keep that in your mind. Age is very important in this life, but to God, it's not. Now we need to keep that in mind when we go to the next scripture. It says, verse four, see, I have divided to you by lot these nations that remain to be an inheritance for your tribes. From the Jordan with all of the nations that I have cut off, I've done that as far as the great sea westward. And the Lord your God will expel them before you and drive them out of your sight. So you shall possess the land as the Lord your God promised you. Therefore, be courageous to keep and do all the things written in the book of the law of Moses, lest you turn aside from it to the right hand or to the left. Don't turn aside. And lest you go among these nations, these who remain among you. You shall not make mention of the name, do not make mention of the name of their gods, nor cause anyone to swear by them. You shall not serve them, nor bow down to them, but you shall hold fast to the Lord your God as you have done to this day. Hold fast to that. What does this mean? God always fulfills his promises to us. Always. And each generation must continue their work so the Lord can show himself to the next generation. Now, this is important because we need to make sure that we are faithful to God right to the end because God will continue his work even past our life. Now, that's really important. Christians should understand that. Now, with that in mind, we go to the next passage of Scripture, which is 9 through 11. For the Lord has driven out from before you great and strong nations. But as for you, no one, no one has been able to stand against you to this day because of God. See, one man of you shall chase a thousand. What? Absolutely. One man shall chase a thousand. For the Lord is your God. And God is he who fights for you as he promised you. Therefore, take careful heed to yourselves. Pay attention that you love the Lord your God. Now, this is important. God tells them this in the book of Joshua. God is the same, S-A-M-E. Many things have changed, but God is the same yesterday. God is the same right now today. And let me tell you something, God is the same forever or tomorrow. See, the Lord is powerful and marvelous to do everything he has promised, everything. 
and written his word across time. Can you imagine that? God has promised that everything he said, he will do. And believe me, everything he does, he said. Now, this is important for prophecy. This is important for all the aspects of the Bible because God has told us what will happen. God has spoken to us about what did happen and God speaks to us now about what is happening. And we need to understand that, that the Lord doesn't want us to be over in the corner in the dark, but God wants us to be out there telling people that Jesus Christ is Lord of my life. With that, I understand this, that Lord, I understand, old and young, well, it's not what I think. Help me to understand how you see us. Help me to understand, very important, Lord, help me to understand how to pray and how to do the things which you have commanded me to do. Very important. We need to remember, by the way, just so you know, when you do retire, you have more time to do what you want or to do what God wants you to do, what God wants you to do. Very important today, beloved. Remember that as we study on.